you know, a lot of those things, like, it's just not going to cross species. You don't think you know, so? Well, I, I think they would have done all their tests. I just don't think it would taste nice. No, I don't it think wouldn't. it's going to actually give you myxomatosis or make you sick. But did, did you eat rabbit as a child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I you, still you, do. I like it. You've got a bit of Maltese in you, mate. Mm. There would have been a few Maltese around your area, wouldn't there? <laughs> a few, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much – oh, look, in all seriousness – I didn't know many kids growing up who, who were Aussie Aussies, you know, the odd one. But most of them were Maltese or Yugoslav or Slovenian, Croatian. Yeah. But, yeah, a lot of Maltese people. Um, in fact, I think at some point there was more Maltese people in there were. St. Albans or, yeah. or was it Melbourne? No, it's, it in the, the, it's in the west. It's, more, more Maltese more, people in the western suburbs of... Western Melbourne suburbs than there Mal- were in Malta. Malta. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I grew up, yeah, with the pastizzi and all yeah. that stuff. So to cut a long story short, that I never made the cut yeah. to under-19s, but I went back to play for St Albans. But I was falling in love with surfing Yeah. and weekends, footy, surfing. I still love playing footy, but then we got this Robbie McGee, the, the oh, infamous yeah. Robbie McGee took over as coach. Rob. Of the St Albans seniors, Robbie McGee, the notorious the, Robbie McGo- the notorious, yeah, yeah. Right. handlebar mo, yeah. skinny tats, yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think he's originally from Yarraville, isn't he? Or? Yeah, I think so. I think he well, he actually started at Footscray before he went yeah, to right. Richmond. Okay, yeah, so he's from the western suburb somewhere. I remember I used to play against him because he was playing in the ruck for West Footscray, and I would be playing in the centre for St Albans. So he was already a menacing figure. Anyway, he became the coach of St Albans. And there was one game, we were down three-quarter time, you know, we were only you know, maybe a goal, eight points or something down, and he came out and he said, right, at the start of this last quarter, I want to see every one of you guys deck the fucking cunt next to you. <laughs> and if you don't, and I just thought, what? <laughs> You know, <laughs> and of course I didn't and not my, most people didn't, you yeah. know, but but he, he kind of just, I just thought, oh, fuck this, I yeah. can't do this No, anymore. this is ridiculous. So the, that, at the end of that season I just didn't bother going that, back. That wouldn't exist in this day and age, I wouldn't imagine. I don't, th- oh, you'd, you wouldn't, you'd hope not. I'll tell you where I did go recently, I saw the Bulldogs play in Ballarat. Okay. Would have been cold. It was freezing. <laughs> But it had that old atmosphere. Yeah. You know, it's... Was this an you, you AFL see, match? It or? was a, yeah, it was yeah. a proper AFL yeah. match. Bulldogs-Brisbane. You could actually see the, the stands of people, the terraces mm. of people standing and then mm. a cameraman perched at the top on a little platform, then a yeah. huge gum trees over here and the big old scoreboard. Yeah. And you're watching the whole ground... You're watching the whole thing from ground level pretty much. So when someone flies up to take a mark, behind them is all the people's faces... You know, it's not just grass. Yeah, so you see it. everyone go. Oh. Yeah, that's right. And you get that. You got that sort of. Oh, and and got have you got guys walking feeling. around selling pies? Not there. They weren't. No, no that's a, well, that's not where you, we you were. Need that. You need the white. You know, you need yeah. the kid with the white jacket to going. come to you. Hot pies. Yeah. And you know, chocolate drinks and potato chips. That I used to like that mm. kid because uh, you know. We yeah. were very cheeky as uh, young teenagers and we used to go, oh, give us one of those, mate, put his head down and then someone come from the side and grab a few of those, uh, you know, chips and <laughs> we'd get a few free ones, you know. <laughs> you devil. <laughs> Remember there was, a, there was a guy at the Western Oval who used to sell peanuts. Yeah, the and, old guy with the peanuts, yeah. peanuts, peanuts. Peanuts, peanuts. <laughs> and, and he'd chuck them, to, he'd chuck them right. and people would chuck them yeah, over. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I and mean, he, usually he, you couldn't see him. You just see these peanuts come flying yeah. out of the air. And, then, and, and I used to love that man. Mm. You know, I used to, used to see him, and they were bloody good peanuts. Yeah, you know, the best. I, n- I never used to like peanuts, but once I tasted his peanuts, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did he do it? Yeah.